My name is Ryan. I've fallen in love with the people, food, cities, and culture of China. It's such an amazing country with such a rich history. One could travel for years and never see all the cultures, eat all the foods, or hear all the amazing dialects spoken here. I hope you enjoy this video. Please drop a like and comment if you do, and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of my future adventures in China. I first visited Shanghai back in 2010, and it's the city I'm most comfortable in, and for good reason. Shanghai has world-class transportation, an insane delivery system, world-class food, and practically every brand name you can imagine. My only complaint is that it lacks some of the more ancient vibes of historic cities like Xi'an or Nanjing. So today, I'm going to share with you one of my most favorite places. Nestled in Shanghai's old city, it's a collection of attractions built around a garden known as Yuyu Garden or Yuyuan. It's bizarre and historic market. Eat some morsels of goodness, meet some amazing people, and experience how this breathtaking historic location is truly a hidden gem in the metropolitan madness of Shanghai. Okay, so we just made it off the subway station at Yuyuan Garden. Give you an idea of how packed this place is. There are people everywhere. Outside before me, there's tables of condiments and refreshments, and you can scan your payment and pay and walk away. So it's a very trusting system. If you look up behind me,、uh, there's one of the reasons right there. There's cameras all over the place. Facial recognition that has advanced tremendously after COVID. So basically, society is super safe because there's no hiding, which is kind of incredible, actually. You know, it keeps people honest. Uh, about not stealing because there's a higher percentage they'll be caught, and in a quick fashion too. So、uh, let's check it out. As we get closer, the crowds are going to begin to build. I originally thought these guys were police, but it turns out they're more just like event staff for the area. And so now we're arriving on the outside of the Yuan Garden complex, and we're going to head down to the bazaar or market and see what awesome offerings they have. How much?、Rope? Yeah, man, life baker. You know we got face pork here. That's important. I love Maltai. That's important. I have to go in though unless you buy a ticket. I should do that. That should look amazing. That's hot. These amazing decorations all around are due to the fact that it's Chinese New Year or the Spring Festival. And if it wasn't clear, it's the year of the dragon. Chinese have a saying: "Ren Shan Ren Hai," or "People Mountain, People Sea." And it just means hordes and hordes of people, and that's exactly what you get here. It's like being on the Las Vegas Strip during New Year's Eve, and at night it gets about three times as bad. Speaking of night, these decorations are really meant to be viewed at night. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss part two, in which we come back to Yu Garden and see what the vibes are at night. I noticed a special food court offering local Shanghainese snacks for cheap, and looked much better than the offerings I saw on the road. After looking around, I met a very cool and brave guy who hollered at me. Hey, it's a hamburger. Hamburger, ma. 里面有什么肉吗 ？Egg and meat. Oh, 鸡蛋什么肉呢？呃，猪肉 ，beef. Oh, pig. Nice man. 你的英文太太棒了。谢谢。Not ready to commit, I looked around some more and decided that he was the guy I wanted to record. So I decided to head back and check out what this Chinese hamburger was really all about. Swag, I want to try it. 对对对，你有这个一个样子。Do you only have one type, or do you have a few different types? <laughs> 那那，张先生，你的英文还行。先生，你会说中文吗？哦，一点点。哦，可是我觉得你的英文比我的中文好多了。哦，可能是啊。是我并没有你想象中的那么好。哦，我不相信你，差呃，自信一点，好吧？呃 ，Where Where did you study English? High school? Oh, I think I can. I don't know. In high school, you studied? Yes. Then, of course. Your Chinese is better than mine. Where? Where? Do you speak Hakka? Oh, I speak Hakka. Not very small, not very much. Thank you. It's about 15 yuan. Yes, that's right. 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 Right, so it's just not a lot of opportunity. Oh, Jenny, Jessie, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Ah, Jenny, thank you, Swagger, Jessie. It's delicious. It tastes like pancakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's delicious. It tastes like pancakes, but really salty, meaty, crunchy goodness. It's wonderful flavor, actually. That's where it's at. This is uh, absolutely wonderful. Egg. Egg, pork, 
Got a batter going on, it's nice. And it's pretty good. La Jao makes everything good too. It's like a salty, oily, crunchy pepper. But it's uh it's just yummy, very, very delicious. Okay, now we're heading into the Yuyan uh, garden here. So the complex itself is actually built around a garden, but with a huge assortment of these long corridors of shops that connect huge courtyards like this. And these are full of stores, both large and small, ranging from jewelry to handcrafted souvenirs. I fell in love with the vibe of this place the first time I saw it, as if I was in an old kung fu movie that I watched growing up. After finishing my burger, I was on a mission to find one of my favorite Chinese snacks, of which you can pretty much find anywhere in China. Yogurt, I know. The flavor is a little sweet, right? Dede 不是美国人,喜欢冰的饮料,对吧?我们喜欢。哪里啊?感谢你。Thank you, thank you。这是放在上面的,就是这样的。应该开。我来帮你开。我来帮你开。哦,好好好。Thank you。那不可以吃啊。那里面有四次的,给你尝一下。哦,你有更多,更多东西啊。更多小吃。来,给你看看。好。啊,你来。新年快乐。新年快乐。感谢你。你们都很忙。没办法,我们为了生活。嗯。还是来看一下先生这边。就看,哦,就是小吃的。So the Shanghai ladies, uh, they are fearsome saleswomen. I, uh, I tried to get out of there and just enjoy this, but she made me try, I think, two or three of their walnut candy kind of deals, which, which are delicious. I'm just not in the mood nor uh, of the appetite to buy two pounds of candy, walnut candy or otherwise. Anyway, Swan Nye is where it's at. Drinkable yogurt, freaking delicious. Not too sour, not too sweet. Everything good you want to eat. And finally, we're gonna head to the center of Yuya, where the pond, bridge, and tea house are located. It's, uh, it's a hodgepodge of all kinds of tourists, me included, but uh, not, just, not just foreigners. You know, you have Chinese from other cities all over, uh, you have Europeans, you have Americans for sure, but it's, uh, it's a giant hodgepodge. You can hear all kinds of languages being spoken, all kinds of people. Oh, it's yummy. Good stuff. Now we're going to cross the small pond at the center of Yuyan and the very famous Nine Corners Bridge. This is certainly not one of a kind, but this type of bridge was pretty popular during the Chinese Song Dynasty from 960 to 1279 AD. Halfway through, we arrive at the famous tea house. Just don't buy tea here, it's insanely expensive. The famous people have been here, like the Queen of England and Bill Clinton, and it was also taken over by the British during the Opium War. Continuing on, we can see some more of the New Year's decorations. These are absolutely breathtaking and look fantastic at night, but as you'll see in video two, this bridge is basically impassable at night, requiring probably 30 minutes to cross it due to the amazing crowds. And this is the actual entrance to the Yuyan Garden itself, and ironically enough, I myself have never been in. I've heard great things about it, but also that it's insanely packed and not something I really wanted to involve myself with. I hear it's beautiful and definitely worth the $5 entrance fee, so definitely check it out if you dare. I like to peek in the exit, kind of get an idea for what it's all about. Oh, and I had to stop and show you guys these energy monster kiosks. These kiosks sell these rentable power banks for your cell phone. The US definitely needs to get on this, but I think vandalism would be a problem at this point in time. And as I was walking, I noticed this lady stopping abruptly and taking my photos. So we had a bit of a Mexican standoff. Yeah. Is it need to come down with a girl, ma? No. No. Okay, no problem. We can go together, huh? Na, you're from that country, right? I'm from 
是这里本。哦，你是上海人吗？这是很有名的客人的地方。嗯嗯。我我觉得没有上海人来这里，就有外国人来这里，对，这<笑>差不多呢。哇，我是刘莱恩或 Ryan。嗯嗯。很高兴认识你啊。嗯。对吧？这个。很高兴啊！嗯，再见。So I'm not exactly sure what that was about. I thought she hadn't seen a foreigner before because she was filming me so much, and then she said it was actually due to the camera I was holding. She wanted to check that out, uh, so I let her see it and showed her it, and she she seemed to like it. And although this attraction is rife with not very good junk food, there are a few very old and very reputable places to eat. This one here is called Nanxiang Steamed Bun, and they specialize in a Shanghainese food called Xiaolongbao, and it's apparently over 100 years old. So, in closing, guys, that wraps up part one of my Yuyan tour. Drop a like or a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe for upcoming China content. In part two, we take a look at the slightly more chill and historic place known as Yuyan Old Road. Check out their offerings, play some tuk tuk goose, and get down on some delicious propane fueled street food. And most importantly, check out how Yuan looks at night when all the New Year's directions really shine. Thanks again so much for joining me today, guys. We'll see you next time.